today's vlog today it's valentine's day actually which is really really exciting i just got ready and i just want to show you quickly some of the new perfumes actually Mati is just on the phone trying to get a new car in short because if you don't know from the last vlog our car literally broke down but <laughs> it's not even worth rescuing so yeah it's been a bit stressful um the first perfume that is new in my collection is actually from this brand that I've never purchased or I haven't had anything from. It's uh, Eta Libre d'Orange. It's you or someone like you. Really love the scent. Super minty, fresh, light, positive and I thought because I want to try more fresher fragrances uh, I thought this would be perfect because I usually just buy amber, oud, <laughs> roses, like velvety roses and I just need some balance in my collection but having said that the next fragrance is oud. <laughs> oh well, it's uh, Taif Oud, the new Roja perfume uh, that they have sent through to me which I'm very grateful for. I love the perfumes, I've got a lot of them. <laughs> and this one reminds me a bit of my favourite favourite uh, oud from Roja. It is the Harrods oud. So it is like a Harrods exclusive. But uh, this one is like this dry oud with a bit of like honey uh, accord. To me this smells very honeyed. Um, and a bit more rounded and classic smelling than um, my favorite. My favorite is still my favorite, <laughs> but this one I wore it all day yesterday and really, really enjoyed it. It's a very unisex scent. Actually, it's a bit more masculine, I would say, but for oud, I like dry ouds. I don't like when they're super, super sweet. I think you can go really wrong with that. And um, next one is Casmurati one bouquet ideal. This is a zerge of fragrance. I think I can call it a zerge of fragrance. And I got a little bottle, uh, and this was a blind buy. So <laughs> I was a bit like, oh, this might go really wrong. I love it, but in a different way than, uh, for example, my other perfume, Shooting Stars from Zerjov. That one I blind bought, and I'm, this it's one of the best fragrances in my collection. I adore it to death. This one, it's really hard to get something as good as Shooting Stars. This one is really nice, long lasting, very long lasting. I have worn it already a couple of days. Uh, you don't need much, but it's very sweet, so I think now I'll try to wear it during the spring and see how it goes but I think this will be really amazing in the more colder weather but we'll see we'll see because it also it's quite sweet but also has like fruitiness to it a bit of smokiness which is really nice so this one don't know I love it but I think because I was expecting like a wow that shooting stars gave me, <laughs> I'll be chasing the feeling forever. So it's not a bad scent at all, it's really excellent. But I'm just looking for another shooting stars, you know what I mean? Also, I just got a bit of a haul from Cos, which I don't know if I'm going to put in this video or I'm going to do a separate one. And just a bit of a haul and show you guys the whole thing, outfits and everything. Today, because it's Valentine's Day, we're going to the Birmingham City Centre again. And it is, um, we're going to like a wine bar that uh, has also like nibbles, but it's one of the best wine bars in, I think, I don't remember what, but in, a, in England, it's very, very highly rated and they've got some of the best wines and you can taste a lot of wines. They've got tastings there, but we're just going to go and you, they've got like tasting machines that you can just get yourself a bit of wine and taste it. But it's come at a really bad timing because yesterday I was uh, watching this video on YouTube about this, um, about alcohol and the negative effects of alcohol on the brain and the cells and everything. And it got me pretty scared. <laughs> So now I'm like, I can't afford to like not drink at all. But I think we're going to just go today because we've already planned it and booked it. And then I think we're going to like not drink for a while at least. Um, and then maybe we'll see how it goes. But I really recommend this. This is a Stanford um, lecturer that also has a YouTube cha channel where he does like lectures about different topics and he goes really into depth about uh, the science behind how our br body breaks down alcohol and everything. It's 
it's quite crazy and because I usually suffer a bit from anxiety and um, he has actually explained that the baseline stress and anxiety when you drink like if you have a drink every Saturday so you're just like you don't even have to drink a lot you can have one or two drinks on Saturday every Saturday like for example on average and it will give you more of stress anxiety baseline just in your life um, because that's how it works on your body so that you can get rid of it but you have to like stop drinking for two to six months to get rid of that underlying stress it, it's absolutely crazy how our bodies work and every, everything so it's had me a little bit but yeah that is um positive let's uh, try to enjoy today <laughs> and then um, yeah just think about it a bit more and see what we decide but I think it's good to just educate ourselves about you know things that we consume because we don't realize sometimes how harmful those things are I'm just going to quickly maybe flatten the end of this little thing I'm not that great at hair but I'm trying <laughs> it's one of the most difficult things to learn I think with makeup I'm okay but with hair it's always just a little bit of an issue but there we go just that a little bit flatter and I also wanted to show you the beautiful flowers that Matty gave me that I have no idea how to put in a vase properly. I said to him, we probably have to do like a course because I always like, I don't know how to make them look beautiful, but they are beautiful. So thank you, Mati. And yeah, our, this is a mess currently because these are the things that were in our car and we're just collecting the car tomorrow and we'll put them back in. But currently we have like um, loads of cleaning products and stuff in our living room. And this sofa is also like a bit of an update. This is our living room and this sofa is going away. Finally, we sold it. So somebody's coming to pick it up on a Sunday or Saturday or something. So really happy about that because to be honest, this sofa is far too big for the space. English houses are terribly small. We were thinking about getting, uh, we already had like, um, have a small sofa, like a two seater that will go here just because we value space more than just being like, you know, stuck with furniture and you can't move it. This furniture piece, we bought it like four or five years ago. And uh, the thing is that we bought it just before we were moving and we've lived in two houses since and it never fit those houses because of the chairs. Uh, it's got like a longer bit here. It just, we tried to moving it into another place, another living room, another, like even we're thinking about moving it upstairs, but it just, it's too large. Like I think I just like the look of some large pieces, but with furniture, I think if you like put too much in a room, it just, it's too much you can't move around and you can't have the freedom to also like film in our case and just how we hate being stuck with big furniture so all of that <laughs> to say that this is going and we just bought like a small two-seater i'll show you so we just bought like a small two-seater that is going to land in the other room and i think it's going to look much better and maybe I'm weird, but I'm uh, so happy that this new sofa, I can actually wash uh, the covers of all of the things. So I, I just love cleaning. So that gives me like a little happiness that although it's um, very light, I can just wash it every now and then. <laughs> just out on a walk with Morsi before we go into Birmingham because he's a bit crazy today. <laughs> He's got a lot of energy. He usually doesn't bark, but today when the postman came, he was barking so loud. We're like, okay, he needs to get out his energy before we go. Because usually we take him on a walk uh, a bit later, like around 6 p.m., 7, because that's when he has got all this pent up energy. But today he woke up and he's so uh, uh, very energetic. <laughs> Just 
going to taste some wine. So this is like a wine specialty shop. So we're going to, there's like a special machine and you can taste I think up to 50 different wines and they're very nice. So we're excited to just give it a try. We're also terribly hungry because today was a headache. It was such a, a lot of stress, a lot of things going wrong. So we didn't even manage to eat. So we need to get something in our bellies so we don't go like off our head or rocket, however you say. Adonis for spitting. Trust me, bo napisane na ten. Po prostu oprócz psiu. You try, to jest coś teraz. Jeszcze białe czy czerwone? Jakie chcesz. lovely massive ginger tea and Mate is going to tennis we're going to say goodbye to our car as well <laughs> I know it's stupid but you know when you spend such a long time with a car you have to say goodbye <laughs> give it a rest because it's going bye bye as we say to Moshi because Moshi I don't know he kind of freaks out with cars uh, when it's a new car with all the smells and stuff so we'll have to get him used to that as well Birmingham city center. It's just yellow light. Oh. Don't worry. It's another day and I decided to continue this vlog because this week is busy. We're doing something today and tomorrow. Today we're picking up our new car. Well, it's new, not new. It's new to us from the dealership. So uh, it's quite far from us. So we have to go on a train for like nearly two hours. We're very excited to get the new car and finally have something that doesn't squeak and make all the noises when driving. You could see the previous car uh, when we were going for Birkin. Yeah, it was one of those cars that we just got. Like, it was a... It was about, about five years ago. It was five years ago. It was just, for so me, so I, just for me so I can get to work. Yeah. Um, well, it's and very basic. And it's done very well for how old it was and everything. Yeah. But now it's come to the end and we said like we don't want to get a new car unless this one finishes. And we definitely made sure <laughs> it totally <laughs> finished. Yeah. So we're very excited. Uh, yeah, this is our second car in our lives. Because uh -huh. usually we lived in city centers or... We didn't need to. No, we didn't car. have to have a car and we, didn't, we don't like to have cars. Like, is it? Well, we do like the convenience of the car, but when you live in a city center, like the parking and everything, sometimes it's just easier to just grab a train or yeah. just walk somewhere. few moments, Monica, you will receive your car. Well, I don't drive, so... <laughs> but, but this is your car, you don't have to drive it, it's yours anyway. the new car it feels so yeah. weird yeah for almost five years yeah, uh, driving that old yeah old car yeah. we are like the most boring people in terms of cars because we always like go for reliable or like safe cars this is probably like an old person's car but we love it and yeah i think it's 
it just gives us a bit more of a safety feeling mm -hmm. it's got nice features my favorite is um that it's got perforated leather seats and it's got heated seats and also cooling seats so when it's hot which i'm actually going to use seats, straight away so they just actually cool you which is so so fun so i just pressed it now here we got three levels. Yeah, so do you want to use that here? Come on, let's. Okay, go down. Oh. So we've got this yeah. tiny, tiny holes. Yeah. Yeah, and then. Can you feel it already? Yeah, it's cooling me. Oh, <laughs> it's got a decoration. <laughs> <laughs> We're having a little moment. Yeah, yeah, okay. Sorry to interrupt you. That's okay. your while. Love. Oh yeah, thank you very much. No problem. Take care. <laughs> thank you. See ya. And what I love about this car is that we're looking at Mercedes also, but this one, it's a more low-key car, but it's still, when you drive it, it's such a difference in terms of like how it feels. It really feels luxurious to drive and the seats are so comfortable and then you've got loads of additional features. So it's a nice little Lexus reliable car. It's not that little though. Yeah, it's quite huge actually. <laughs> it's bigger than our previous car. And so. for us, it's perfect because we would never get a new car that is just such a waste of money for us both being savers so we like to you know yeah. secure our money as best we can because cars are just money suckers but it's nice to just be able to have a car that is nice and comfortable i'm happy with our decision because i was skeptical mm -hmm. with Lexus first but now i'm like i like it and you Actually, it's very rare for us to see Alexis on the road here. So yeah, it's nice. It is, yeah. but it's not so, good, you know. So now good. we have to drive home and show Moshi the car. Oh, wow. He may be a bit freaked out because he is, yeah, he, I think, doesn't like new cars very much. When we went for a test drive, he was freaking out <laughs> because we took him, because we could. We're not like, those annoying people but we actually could yes it is we've got two keys we've got everything we've got our paperwork now we want to tint the bottom well the whole car literally yeah just because it's uh, safer with like expensive bags or with moshi also if, you know protecting moshi from the heat i know i'm a dog mom i'm probably annoying for some people who are not dog people but <laughs> we think about him all the time so we're going to go home yeah are you ready I need to uh, seat belt. It's funny because you don't see Lexuses anywhere, but now that we've come out on the road, there's a Lexus exactly the same as ours. The same model, the, the same, same year, model, the same color. The same color riding behind us yeah and we're going and together for the last i don't know 20 miles yeah 20 miles it's like this car was sent here to show us how our car looks on the road you know like a yeah. little you know, just see how it looks on the road but here in the uk it's very rare to find this car that we're driving it's uh, like you yeah. can see mercedes all the time bmw all the time but th this model of lexus not so often mm. Just in general, Lexus is yeah. it's not much because you wanted to show me and it was like impossible yeah. for you to show me uh -huh. because we were going for ages and like, oh, there's no, no Lexus uh -huh. on the road. Just got back home and I had a quick 15 minutes nap because all the emotions of everything. I was exhausted we got here and I was like, oh my gosh, I need a nap because I was just so tired. <laughs> so I had a nap, we ate something, made myself a coffee, another coffee. Although I haven't drank a full coffee today because I just drank bits. Anyway, so I'll have a proper coffee and actually I'm, <laughs> I'm going to share with you something that I probably, I don't think I've ever shared on this vlog. Something about me is that I love cleaning, I love finding ways uh, to clean something that is old or looks horrible and finding a way to make it look brand new or near new. I just love it. I think it's nice to take care of your stuff and it just gives me so much satisfaction. So uh, because our car is used, there is, I thought this was like some marks that could be easily just wiped, but it's still there after detailing. So on the LED screen, on the display screen, there's some like 
scratches, but I don't know what it is exactly. So I'm going to test a couple of products that I have. I researched it and I'm going to try and get it out. It's pretty bad, so I don't think I can make it worse, uh, which is good because it takes the stress away. But I'm going to take some products and uh, show you and let you know what worked because maybe you've got the same issue. I don't know what it is, but I'll try my best and take you with me. Just put some blush on, although I'm not wearing any makeup today because I feel like today is a fresh day and sometimes we don't need to wear makeup okay like that sometimes there's too much pressure to look perfect all the time but i don't care too much as you guys know i'm not really a perfectionist like that although i love cleaning <laughs> so let's go i'm going to take you with me and we'll see what works so what i'm taking is something stuff some baking powder because that's what they suggested some all-purpose cleaner three different microfiber cloths, some vinegar, although I don't think I'll use that. Oh, actually, I need isopropyl alcohol as well. Very liquid. And we'll see what works. So I'll try to show you best I can. Can you see those scratches on the screen? These are the ones that I'm trying to get out, so we'll see. So for now, it actually worked quite well. I just need to do the edges, but the winner so far is the isopropyl uh, rubbing alcohol and it is taking it off, which is nice. I just, the edges are the hardest, so yay. Well, I'm pretty happy with this. This looks almost brand new. The only things I can't get out for now is here. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, it's very, very tiny. Here you can see it kind of a little bit. But guys, this looks amazing compared to what it used to. So I think I might get like a small toothpick or something to go and try to go in there. But otherwise, guys, isopril, isopril alcohol has done amazing. I must say I needed to come here and see what Monica did to this screen. It's unbelievable. Well done. I was just saying to Monica, I'm so proud of you that you did it. And I use these uh, ear cleaning things and I fully clean it. So now it's fully clean, like brand new. So I'm so impressed. It, we just it looks so good. <laughs> Look at this. And it, yeah, it was Perfect. really just, it wasn't pretty and now it's fully. It's flawless now. How are you feeling? I'm very happy. Yes. Yes. This was like one of the things, the only things, you know, because it's a used car, you've got scuffs and different things. Mm -hmm. But this, I was like, oh, it just really annoys me. Uh, and yeah, I did it. So very, very happy. <laughs> Bomba, I'm very impressed. And now short walk with Mossy. <laughs> yes, Mossy, yes. yes. So we're enjoying the walk, just looking back on today and how nice the day was. <laughs> and I think, Tomorrow we're going to go on a little trip. <laughs> Actually, we've decided yeah. taking advantage of the car straight away. Taking advantage of the car and taking it on a bit of a spin. So we'll take you also tomorrow, or we might split it into two vlogs. But yeah, it's going to be split into two vlogs. Because yeah. so much is going on. Yeah. it looks like we're traveling all the yeah, time. Like this is not doing stuff, life, buying but... stuff all the time. Yeah, but <laughs> that uh, gives me an insight of when I'm watching other people's vlogs and it looks like they're doing something out and about mm -hmm. all the time. And then you think your life is so boring. Yeah, and I think, compared... oh my gosh, my life is so boring. Mm -hmm. um, but really, it's you focus, you video things that are happening because otherwise, I don't know, let me know in the comments if you would find it interesting also just a day at home, what kind of things I get up to, me baking sourdough bread and stuff like that. Is that also, would you enjoy that as well as some fragrance content and luxury content? You're running or, out of space on the card, so or do you <laughs> Last thing, or do you really like things when I'm out and about and just going somewhere? Let me know because your feedback is important. So let me know. And thank you so much for watching. Maybe we'll finish it here okay, because we've got not? so much content, I think, from today and yesterday. So give Monica a thumbs up. Yeah, give me a thumbs up. <laughs> subscribe if you haven't already. I love to see you here on this channel. Thank you so much for watching and supporting me. And I'll see you tomorrow, but in the next vlog. See you then. <laughs> Bye. Bye.